We've got an MSI GE75 on the bench today. The customer says the keyboard isn't working properly, you have to press very hard for the keys to register, and sometimes it double types. That means the keyboard needs to be replaced. So let's take this laptop apart, check out what's going on inside, and I'll show you a couple of different repair options. Let's get started. As always, I'll begin from the bottom side of the laptop. First, I'll remove all the screws so we can take off the bottom cover. No tools needed to pop it open, the case comes off pretty easily. Inside, we see a huge cooling system, two slots for SSDs, one slot for a 2.5-inch drive, and two RAM slots. But here's a major inconvenience. One of the RAM slots and one SSD slot are covered by the heatsink. So if you want to upgrade those, you actually have to remove the cooling system completely, which means reapplying thermal paste and thermal pads. Definitely not very user-friendly. To reach the keyboard, I'll need to take out the motherboard. That means removing the battery, disconnecting the cooling system, detaching all cables, and finally pulling the board out. Once the motherboard is out, you can see the keyboard is permanently attached to the palm rest. You can replace just the keyboard by removing all the little plastic rivets and pulling it out. A bare keyboard costs about $20 online, but the alternative is replacing the entire palm rest assembly with the keyboard already installed, which usually costs around $160. Here's the thing. After going through this whole process, I strongly recommend replacing the entire palm rest assembly. Trying to swap just the keyboard is a nightmare. First, removing it is a huge hassle. Second, when installing a new one, you have to glue it back in multiple spots, and it never feels as solid as factory. I tested out a new UV glue I found at Home Depot. It comes with both an applicator tip and a built-in curing light, which is convenient. But it's super thin, almost like water, so it leaks through gaps and makes a mess. I had to use a combination of adhesives to get the keyboard secured. Before fully assembling, I always recommend pre-testing the new keyboard. Sometimes even new parts arrive defective, and the last thing you want is to reassemble everything only to find it doesn't work. Once tested, I put everything back together, motherboard, RAM SSDs, cooling system, with fresh thermal paste and pads, then finally the bottom cover. Powered it on and the new keyboard works perfectly, backlight and all. Final thoughts, if you're repairing an MSI G75 or similar models, do yourself a favor. Don't waste time replacing just the keyboard. Spend a little extra on the complete palm rest assembly. It's easier, faster, and much more reliable in the long run. That's it for today. Love and peace to everyone.